Coach Howard here with Howard Elite Basketball. Before we get started, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Whenever you come to my channel, I want you to come ready to learn. Because I'm going to teach you everything I know about this game. The ins, the outs, the ups, and the downs. And as long as you're willing to get better, I'm willing to teach. So with that being said, let's go. Nowadays, it seems like everybody want to break ankles and make defenders fall. But for most of us, we have no clue on how to actually make that happen. And if you're one of those people that don't have a clue, today you in luck. I'm going to be breaking down one of the best ankle breakers in the game, the snatchback. With the snatchback being such a dominating move, it's actually fairly simple. There's just a lot of different ways to set it up and pull it off. So what I'm going to do is show you the ways that I know best. So let's break it down. Step one, you're going to attack your defender. You need to get them going in a certain direction. It doesn't matter, left, right, or backwards. Get them on their heels. Get them going hard in the direction opposite of the way that you're about to snatch that ball back. Step two, putting on the brakes. With this, you're going to be planting your front foot as hard as you can in the ground, stopping all of your momentum. Think about it like a car. If someone is going full speed in a car and the driver instantly slams on the brakes, everyone in that car is going to go flying forward. That's essentially what you're doing to your defender. But you have to make sure you get the first step correct of going full speed at the defender, then put on the brakes. If you don't do the first step right, the second step won't be as effective. Step three, snatching the ball back. With this, there's a lot of different ways that you can snatch the ball back. You can snatch it between your legs. You can snatch it with a crossover right in front of you. You can even snatch it behind your back. But however you snatch that ball back, make sure you do it with authority. Make sure you do it hard and aggressive. Send that defender flying and bring the ball back to you. Step four, finish the play. It doesn't matter how hard you cross somebody or if you make somebody fall. If you don't finish, it really doesn't count. So I don't care if you finish with a layup or a jump shot. Finish the play. If you cross somebody over and they go flying and you miss, nobody ever really remember it. At least not for it being a great moment. That's all I got for you, but thank you for watching my video. If you like anything about this video, hit the like button. Let's try to get it to 6,000 likes. Might be pushing it there, but let's just see. Coach Howard here with Howard Elite Basketball. Let's go.